So why is she complaining? To bed. Go on to bed. Come on now, you must go. I won't go until I know what's happened to Kay. Well, I'm going to bed. Oh, you're so ugly when you start crying. Go on to bed. Come on now, quick. I will tell you what has happened. He was made to kiss the dreadful Snow Queen, and the heart of whoever kisses her becomes a cake of ice, a block of insensitive ice. I'm afraid our own little Kay has a heart of solid ice. That's all right. It's all right. We'll warm his heart with love. Why, he'll be all right tomorrow. You'll see, he'll, he'll be as full of joy and sweetness as always, and we won't even remember the Snow Queen. Good morning, Missing Pot. <laughs> oh, good morning to you, my dear Mr. Goblin. <laughs> oh, Missing Pot, I feel terribly sad. It breaks my heart just to look at Grandma. Case disappeared, and now poor little Gerda's gone off to look for him. Oh, what a pity, a terrible shame. Wherever can the child be? It is terrible, Mr. Goblin, a tragedy. And for as long as I've ink left, I'll go on crying. My sadness will dry me up. Yes, it will. I'll go on weeping ink drops till I'm out of them. What a pity. What a pity. <coughs>
throw rocks at an old crow, would you? Oh, I'd never do a thing like that. Hooray, hooray for her. I'm greatly relieved to hear that. Would you throw branches and sticks? Oh, never, sir. B bricks? Never in the world. Grand, rare, wondrous. Permit me to thank you on the part of all of us crows. Does my vocabulary impress you? Oh, yes, very much. Ha, ha, ha. I know a great lot of rare words. Arithmetic, integrity. It's because I grew up in the gardens of the royal palace. I might be called the court crow. My bride is a genuine pedigreed court bird. She refuses all food, except leftovers from the royal kitchen. I surmise you are not from these regions. No. I'm a stranger around here. You? Seem troubled. Rest assured, I'm a trustworthy crow. Tell me your troubles. I'll help you. Clara, Clara. Crow, crow. You drop your beak in surprise when you see who's here, Clara. It's a dear little girl, and she's called Gerda. Aha! Our cousin, the magpie, is a terrible gossip. She brings back all the news on her tail feathers. She told us all about you and your search for Kay. <coughs> Clara, and that's not all she said. It appears that Kay is the princess's betrothed. That's all wrong. Kay's a simple boy. He's not a prince. It seems that the betrothed just recently was a very simple boy. The princess chose him just because he spoke so charmingly and bravely to her. What's the prince's name? His name is your royal highness. I must go to the royal palace and speak to the prince. And if it's Kay, I'm going to ask him to write home to my grandmother and tell her he's well and happy. And then I'll go home. I'm afraid you won't be able to enter the palace. What should we do? Great growling green goblins! I have a great idea. Are you a brave little girl, Gerda? I admit that I'm scared of frogs. But that's all I'm afraid of. Very good. Listen closely, my dear girl. For the time being, you can hide in the attic, and we'll sneak you in the palace at night. Come, come. Grab my feet and hang on with all your strength. Gerda, whatever you do, stay on the right. Don't cross that line. What's the line for? His Majesty has given his daughter and her betrothed half of his kingdom. He divided the royal apartments in two very carefully, dear. The right side belongs to the prince and princess, and the left to his Majesty, the king. It would be more prudent for us to keep over on the right. Come along. the fantasies of the ladies in waiting. They're dreaming that they're at a grand ball. Oh, and what are those? Those are the dreams of the knights. They dream about hunting and not dances.
frightening. What are they? Alas, those are the dreams of the prisoners in the palace dungeons. They're dreaming that they have broken their chains and regained their freedom. Oh, what was that? I don't know, dear. Quickly, we'd better hide. That's enough. I'm tired of playing horsey. Then how about hide and seek? All right. Now, you count to a hundred. Mm-hmm. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. <gasps> Don't be afraid, little girl. Why were you hiding? Oh, Prince, I took one look at you and burst into tears. And I hate to weep in front of strangers. I'm not that kind of person. You're dismissed. She wants to be alone. She doesn't want to cry in front of you. Put the candelabra back and take leave. You're dismissed. You're annoying the little girl. Why'd you begin to cry when you saw me? Come on. I'm a simple person just like you. No? Elsa, say something nice to the little girl. My dear subject and vessel. What do you mean by talking like that? We're all friends. I'm awfully sorry. Oh, my dear little girl, we'll try and help you. Why are you crying, dear? I'm crying because... because you're not my K. No, I'm not your K. My name is Klaus. But why are you so sad about it? Ah! Uh, now it all comes back to me. Remember, Klaus, about the story of the little Gerda and K that the birds told me. Is your name Gerda by any chance? Yes. Elsa, we must help little Gerda, mustn't we? Yes. I'm thinking, I'm thinking, I'm thinking. Well, I know what. We'll decorate her with a blue ribbon to put on her dress. Pinned on with mother-of-pearl buttons and little rosettes. It's sweet, but it's silly. Gerda, which way are you planning to go now? I'll tell you. I plan to go north right away. The Snow Queen took Kay there. Very well. Then I know what to do. You crows, go to the stables, tell them to saddle up four horses and the traveling carriage in my name. Make it a golden one. No, no. Why should I have a golden carriage? Yes, it's much too heavy, and it rolls too slowly. Slow, but pleasant and luxurious. All right. The gold one. All right. Order the gold carriage. 